Miss LT, minsan ba naisip nyo na naging hadlang ang pagkakaroon ng napakagandang mukha sa pagpapakita ng talento bilang isang sensitibo at efektibong aktres? Aaminin ko, Ding Dong, minsan uh, meron tayong preconceived notion, lalo na ang mga kritiko, uh, tungkol sa kakayahan ng aktres na may taglay na ganda. Kaya yun ang magiging hamon Diba? Para sa mga aktres, kung paano nila mapapakita ang kagalingan nila at patunayan that you are not more than just a pretty, pretty, pretty face, di ba? That's right. Kaya naman o eh, saludo ko sa ating paparangalan ng Lifetime Achievement Award. This is a shining tribute to the talent of an artist who is better known for her glamorous classic beauty. Pero maliban sa talento at kagandahan, eh marami pa siyang ibang katangian na sa isang tunay na kapitapitagang alagad ng sine. Watch this video. Yes. All things bright and beautiful. She came to some Pagita pictures in the mid-60s when the studio system was in full swing. After signing a four-year build-up contract with Dr. Jose Ara Perez, Susan Roses, the face that refreshes, knew that she would never walk her life alone. Mula sa pelikulang Misty Lampia, kung saan siya ay pinakilala hanggang sa sariling pelikulang Prinsesang Gusgusin, isang box office hit noong 1957, hanggang sa Susanang Daldal, Susanang Twist. Hindi naglaon at napabilang siya sa mga pinakamalaking bituin ng bakuran ng Sampagita Pictures. By simply being herself, Susan Roses won hearts everywhere she went. Swanee, as she is fondly called, was a princess in the fairyland of movies and entertainment. But aside from beauty and talent, Susan had another quality that has grown rare in the movies. Loyalty. Habang naglilipatan sa bakura ng iba't ibang produksyon ang ibang artista, na natiling faithful si Susan sa kanyang Sampagita family at sa mga Vera Perez. It was only in 1965, with the blessings of Doc Perez and her family at Sampagita, that she put up her own Rosas Productions. Her first picture outside Sampagita was Ang Daigdig Koy Ikaw with Fernando Poe Jr., even then dubbed as the King of Philippine Movies. Three years later, on Christmas Day in 1968, the princess and the king were married. Susan and Ronnie now have a daughter named Mary Grace. Sa kanyang gandang taglay, Sino ang mag-aakala na mapapasabak si Susan Roses sa linya ng mga horror movies? Mula sa Maruha noong 1967 at patayin mo sa Sindak si Barbara noong 1974 hanggang sa Maligno noong 1977 kung saan siya ay nagwagi ng Best Actress Award na mayagpag ang kanyang talento sa Sindakan at Horror. Ang pangalawang parangal sa kanyang acting bilang Best Actress ay para sa gumising ka, Maruha, noong 1978. Hindi ikaw. Hindi ikaw. Hindi ikaw. She now relishes her life as wife, mother, and friend. In private, she basks in inspirational music, flowers, plants, wonderful colors, and good food. No fanfare, no scandals, no senseless gimmicks so prevalent in movie dom. Nothing seems to disturb her inner peace. Susan Roses, artista, asawa, ina, all sweetness and light. Simply enjoys a lifetime as housing all things bright and beautiful. Isa po siyang malaking biyaya sa industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino. Pero hindi lamang po dyan. Isa po siyang malaking biyaya sa aking buhay. For my mama Swani, whom I will always respect 
admire and adore this is for you Thank you.